This video is provided for illustrative purposes and is intended as a brief summary of the preparation and setup of the balloon guide catheter. The balloon guide catheter is packaged with a number of accessories. Each sterile package comes with one balloon guide catheter, one dilator, one lure activated flow valve, one rotating hemostasis valve, and one TUI porst with side port, two peel away sheaths, one set of extension tubing, and a sterile prep card to reference when prepping and using the balloon guide catheter. Gently remove the balloon guide catheter from the pouch and inspect to verify that its size, shape, and condition are suitable for the patient and planned procedure. Attach an RHV or TUI porst with side port to the balloon guide catheter through lumen. Flush the through lumen of the balloon guide catheter with heparinized saline. If applicable to the procedure, remove the dilator and inspect. Gently insert the dilator into the balloon guide catheters through lumen and flush with heparinized saline. Attach the flow valve to the balloon inflation lumen. To prep the balloon, fill a 20 milliliter and a 1 milliliter syringe with inflation media. Attach the 20 milliliter syringe to the flow valve. With the syringe pointed downward, pull back on the syringe plunger to aspirate the balloon inflation lumen. Maintain pressure until the air bubbles stop forming in the syringe. Release the syringe plunger to allow media to be drawn into the balloon lumen. Repeat a second time to ensure air has been removed from the system. Remove the 20 milliliter syringe, leaving the flow valve in place. Attach the one milliliter syringe to the flow valve. Inflate the balloon by infusing 0.6 milliliters of inflation media into the balloon. Once inflated, remove the one milliliter syringe to maintain balloon inflation. Inspect the balloon for leakage. If necessary, keep the balloon inflated in a sterile environment until air bubbles diffuse from the balloon. Before use, deflate the balloon by reattaching the 20 milliliter syringe to the flow valve and pulling negative on the syringe plunger. Remove the syringe following deflation. Wet the shaft of the balloon guide catheter with saline. Position the peel away sheath over the balloon. Insert the balloon guide catheter assembly into the introducer sheath until the peel away sheath meets resistance. Holding the peel away sheath, advance the guide catheter into the introducer. You may either peel off the peel away or move it to the proximal end of the catheter once introduced. The balloon guide catheter provides proximal flow control during clot retrieval and other angiographic procedures. Use of the balloon guide catheter is similar to PrEP. Inflate the balloon using the one milliliter syringe. Perform the retrieval procedure using standard techniques. Deflate the balloon using the 20 milliliter syringe prior to removing it from the anatomy.